Greetings, greetings, all my dreamers and dreamettes. It's your boy, Mickey Fenty, a.k.a. Mickey Mater. If you're new to this channel, you know what to do to this channel. Subscribe right now. And if you want to support the brand, it's inspiredbydreams.shop. Okay, today's episode, this is something not a lot of people like to talk about. And it's the difference between black culture and hood culture. Characteristics. And made us to hate God's creation of us. You did that. Hollywood did that. Step and fetch it. Mantan Moreland. Amos and Andy. Butterfly McQueen. Run the road! You take our strongest, more courageous black minds. You think we don't see you? You put us in Hollywood. You give us television shows. And then we gotta buck our eyes. So we got all these blacks in Hollywood now in a modern step and fetch it role. Laughing when ain't a damn thing funny. Uh, people don't really have a, a sense of, some people look at life through their own lens and they refuse to look at it through anybody else's lens or how they grew up. And it's just, it's social media making the world a smaller place, but making it more divided because of misunderstanding. So. Black culture versus hood culture. Let's check out the difference and see what you guys think. Leave your comments down below if you guys like this video and you want to see more videos like it. I'll have a lot more to come. So you guys um, stay tuned and subscribe to the channel. Let's get it. I don't know if I'm the first person on the internet, whatever. It's probably people are saying this, but this needs to be said we have to separate black culture from hood culture mm. they are not the, the same, same thing when somebody's sagging their pants and talking in an ignorant way i don't say that that's black culture that's hood culture that is not being black this conversation about suburban black people versus ghetto black people is so tiring because it goes both ways there are plenty of ghetto people who look at suburban black people and say oh you think you're better than me like who are you to transcend whatever and then on the flip side there are people who honestly do judge ghetto people because they think that their proximity to whiteness or white access and being suburban somehow makes them exempt from still being black i know for a fact that a lot of black people operate out of a sense of collective struggle so i see why the ghetto black people are upset about what was said but at the end of the day, there is nothing wrong with trying to transcend a situation or a circumstance. That's a fact. Fact, facts. So while they might not think they're better than you personally, they may think they're better than the circumstance. That's a fact. Fact, facts. Which is why them or their parents put them in different areas. And I don't see a problem with that. To the ghetto people who think that suburban people just don't like them and we're just clutching our pearls, it's honestly not even like that. Black culture is not hood culture. Hood culture is not black culture. Could y'all please stop combining the two as if every black person is hood? Every black male doesn't like shooting guns and sagging and drinking alcohol and smoking and being unemployed. That's a fact. Fact, facts. Every black woman don't like going out to the club and shaking her ass and want to be looked at as a sex option. That's not all black women and all black men. But it's funny how y'all can love celebrities who rap and talk and act all the same way as the civilians in the hood do, but y'all love them and y'all hate the people that's actually in the hood. So if an artist or an entertainer or an actor or actress that you love, they can have multiple kids, they can be a deadbeat mother or father, they can be all the negative things that you don't like regular black people for, but you can love them for. Uh, don't that make you a hypocrite? By your own logic and definition? Come on, man, it's 2024. Y'all better start changing this shit. <laughs> Being ghetto and coming from the hood is two different things. So ghetto and hood are two different things. Let me dispel the myth. Ghetto is when you celebrate your baby daddy coming home from jail because he didn't pay child support. You put him there. Ghetto is when you have eyelashes and a bonnet on at Crown Fried Chicken. <laughs> Asking why you didn't get your other piece. Ghetto is when you walk up to somebody's step and it smells like roaches. And not only that, you know, the screen door stinks. 
that's unsanitary. Ghetto is when you're on a speakerphone, but you got AirPods on, and you tell yourself, Rodney, better bring me my Pampers. Ghetto is when all six of your children are twerking in front of the door. On your side, not his side. He has kids on the side, too. Ghetto is when you're at a funeral and they ask you to sing, but you sing seven whole days, not a single word from you from Tony Braxton. That's ghetto. The hood is just where you came from. I'm sorry, y'all. Ghetto took up a lot of time. <laughs> now, I'm going to go ahead and say this shit because ain't nobody else going to be real about it. There is a big difference between niggas and black people. The buffoonery of bullshit y'all see on the internet, that's what niggas do. Niggas are ignorant people that do stupid, that act like they don't know right from wrong. Like when y'all see videos online of other black people talking about other black people or somebody making fun of them, that's what niggas do. Like y'all not hearing me out when I say this. Black people don't do that, bro. Black people are actually people who want to uplift their people and actually stick together with them. Like this y'all be seeing when the girls talking about the dude with the polo fit, the 20 v1, the popping balloon shit, that's niggas shit. Don't get it twisted, bro, between black people and this. Because one thing for certain, bro, ain't nobody ever stood up to our people. And then the other trend, I'm scared, but I'm black to admit, I see why y'all do it. But y'all got to know the difference that all black people don't fit those stereotypes. And the stereotype that people portray to be on black people are because, bro, not black people. And we stereotype our own selves talking about each other. So when one black person do something bad, all of us look bad. So the ghetto versus suburban black people debate. I think I can give a lot of nuance to this topic. Hi, my name is Christy. I grew up in private school. Only black girl in my class for three years of my life. I'm also on the spectrum of having African parents. So not fully adjusting in African American culture. Just feeling so lost as a black person and also being the only black person in my friend group. Let me show you. This was me for years and years and still learning so when i tell you i was bullied by other black people by the way that i speak by so many other things and still in my heart i still don't have that perspective there is a perspective of superiority and just being non-ghetto somebody who spoke to other black people very similar upbringing as me let me tell you this is actually a problem and i understand that there's you know perspectives from both sides and as somebody who could be like even mad who could actually take this trend and run with it i'm not because you know why i know it stems from ignorance and i know that this perspective is just so damaging at the end of the day it's something that you have to heal from and also i just don't agree with it i think this is repercussions of colonialism and i always talk about this i've been talking about this with my page for years and years and years and so when i tell you that it's such a topic that is so ingrained in us and that the divisive divisiveness within the community it's just a different thought of the repercussions of colonialism. Like I said before, I definitely get the point of view of, well, you know, it comes from both sides. But at the end of the day, there's one group that clearly separates themselves from other black people. And I'm telling you this as somebody who grew up in spaces around people that actually do think like that. And it's more people than you would think. It's true. And I will say it's hard because in the black community, we don't do a good enough job differentiating between ghetto culture and black culture. Now, what I will say is, a lot of the time, you never know if your experience is uniform to all black people. I can tell you, in my immediate experience, all my brothers gang bang, join gangs, etc. When we moved from California to Montgomery, Alabama, when we lived in the shoe my cousins, all of my cousins, including I, none of us made it to high school. We had one cousin named, she went to high school, she got pregnant and dropped out. Everybody else got their GEDs or, went, or got their shit in jail. It is what it is. You know, it just was, that was just, that was just our environment at the time. Like it just, it was just, it was an environment of ignorance. You know, I'm not proud to say that, but that's just what, the, what it was. And so, but I bring that up because it's not until I had these conversations and I talked to people that I realized no, nigga, that's not, nigga, that's not normal. Like, bro, I, like I talked to some dudes, they're like, bro, like, I went to school and got a degree. What you talking about? Like, my mama would whoop my ass if I only if I got anything less than B. So, you know, and we still listen to Cool in the Gang at the some at the family reunion. So, you know, it's not, you know. I don't like the way y'all be treating us. I really don't. Like, we're all black girls. Like, we're literally all black girls. Like, policing black women on how to be black or what's the aesthetic for the black woman like that's so weird to me i literally got denied entry to a celebration because i'm considered square bitch i like to drink douce i like glorilla 
I want to shake my ass in a section that I don't have to pay for. Like, y'all be killing me. So right now there's a discussion of, oh, I'm black, but I don't like ghetto people. And it just reminded me of something my friend and I were talking about. And it's just crazy that this is the topic of discussion right now because I'm just going to flip the script because this is the complete opposite of what's currently being said. So I grew up in a suburb and I had a lot of wealthy friends. Like me personally, I came from a low income family, but I still live in that suburb. I still went to school with like a lot of wealthy friends. And the most crazy thing about these girls was they came from really like million, million dollar houses, two loving parents, good food. Like they had a great life set up for them. They, they had the like dream life, you know, like they had the American dream life where everything was set up for them. Like the, like, all they had to do was turn 16 and they would have had a car ready. They had their college fund already. Like they were good. They were set for life, right? And it was so crazy because every single one of these girls glorified being hood and like being ghetto and like changed their entire demeanor and the way they act, the way they talk, the way they dressed, everything to fit a certain stereotype of what it's like to be hood so that they can be with the hood man because every time like they would see a random kid on snapchat like rapping to music and like you know showing his pp once in a while like you know they would be like that's so hot like that's so hot like oh my god i'm dreaming like oh my god like i'm literally drooling i want him or you know they'll be selling drugs or like they'll like they just were not leading a good life they were from like the inner cities like these Kids had their own struggle in life clearly, and these women, these girls, they would be set for life, and this would be their dream man. And it absolutely mind boggled me for the longest time. I actually never, until this day, I don't understand it. Like, my friend and I were talking about it the other day, and I was like, why did they do that shit? Like, I don't get it. Like, all, I've known you for so long. This is not how you talk. Why are you talking with a black scent? Majority of these girls were not black either, by the way. Majority of them were other POC or they were white. So I just was so confused. Like, who do you, who are you? Like, why are you switching up? And the craziest part was one of the girls, like she went out that night and she was like in the inner cities and she met this guy. And of course he was, he was kind of like, you know, crazy. Um, and she went to his place and she was like, oh my God, yeah, no, there were hella kids there. It was really dirty. And like, it, I slept, oh my God, I slept on the mattress. Like I slept on a mattress on the floor. It was the coolest thing ever huh i that's when i was like bye what are you taught how is that the coolest thing ever like are you joking and like just like as someone that like genuinely like didn't grow up in the best environment i just was like there's no way in hell you're telling me that was the coolest thing ever when you could go back to your big ass room get a freaking massage and like chill and go play pool and sit by the pool like there's no way that this is the life that you're choosing for yourself when you've seen better like it was almost like self-sabotage or something i really i don't know i can't even explain it because i don't understand it i truly do not understand it it was the craziest thing ever and their whole personality would change when we were at school like they'd be talking normal and then bro we would go like go get food with like some guys or something like that completely different person completely different person it was crazy it was wild i wish you would see this because it like it low-key like fucked my head because i was just like what is happening right now like i had to get away from that because i was just like this is not i'm not one of them first of all i'm not i'm good um i'm not that's not what i want personally i'm okay but second of all it was just like why are you acting like that like that's not who you are i do not know and I do not understand, but I think it's just it's just interesting to see this trending. And usually it's like suburban black girls that are saying like, oh, like I'm black, but I don't I don't I don't like ghetto people or whatever. But then I grew up on like the com like I the girls that I saw were like the complete opposite. Like they were suburban girls that were glorifying and founded an aesthetic to be from the hood or to be ghetto, and it absolutely made zero sense to me and till this day i don't know what it is i don't think i'll ever i don't i don't i don't think i'll ever understand it i'm not gonna lie to you I'll, the only thing i could think of is like maybe like life is just so chill for them that they want some chaos and so they go and like be with people that have like a struggle like that see struggle in life but i was like shit girl like if you want to come over like I'll, I'll show you something like i don't know i really till this day do not 
no and majora uh, anyways that's all i gotta say bro that's all i gotta say i digress because i just can't make sense of it so i'm just like there's no way that i was the only person that went through this because every day every day i think about it and it makes me so mad because i'm just like what was that you look in the hood there's liquor stores and check cashing places you know why because they know that the people in the hood aren't smart enough to open up bank accounts. They're going to get a check, they're going to cash it, and it's a liquor store right next to it. Let's just put that around them. Let's also put a bunch of sh** that's easy and cash available. We don't want you to gain credit. We want you to be cash driven. That's how we keep the poor poor. It's not until you understand that you get out. Okay, what I can say, so many truths in different situations and you see different perspectives on black culture but one thing I could say is black culture versus ghetto culture or hood culture black culture is one thing and that is the overall of our DNA us black us as black culture as black people that's something that we all share together now when you're talking about ghetto culture or hood culture that has to do with mentality. That has nothing to do with skin color. You can be from any place and grow up in these circumstances and carry on that same mentality. In certain places, people do come together and share these similarities so we can all come to one solution. But there's other places where people use these similarities and differences to separate each other. What side are you on? Leave your comments down below. It's your boy Mickey Fenty, aka Mickey Made It. If you're new to this channel, you know what to do to this channel. Subscribe.